IU students are now paying more attention to their surroundings after someone attacked a student leaving the library. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Stair. And I'm Anne-Marie Tiernan. Thank you for, th for joining us at 6. This attack happened around 2 o'clock this morning as the 19-year-old victim walked home after a night of studying. This is finals week on campus. She says a man grabbed her off the path near the railroad track, showed her a knife, exposed himself, and forced her to touch him. The university then sent a student text warning out that for the students to be on the lookout and to make sure they're safe. But Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker found that the, some of the tools that the school offers to keep students safe often go unused. Well, last night's attempted sexual assault here on campus is a good reminder, say police, not to walk home alone at night. And if you do, they say, have a good idea of where these emergency phones are located. There is 57 of them across campus, mostly in campus parking lots, and they're checked every 30 days to make sure they're working. But police say a lot of students don't use them in this age of cell phones. They use their cell phones if they need help. The student held at knife point in the woods along this path last night, just wanted to get away. So when she had the chance, she ran to her dorm. That's where she called 911 and told police what had just happened. A campus-wide alert went out to students and parents. I was even debating not even taking this path just because it kind of is kind of creepy at this point. Students say the path between Kelly School of Business and Foster Quad has traveled a lot during the day. At night, though. This area is just sketchy, especially at 2 a.m. With the trees and everything, it's hard to have it really well lit. But, I mean, they have lampposts and stuff, and there are those boxes where you can push that emergency button if something does happen. And something did last night. Students say it's a reminder, no matter how safe they may feel. Just travel in packs, especially late at night. And before it would get to the point where students need to use one of these emergency call boxes, police say that there is a free ride service available here on campus called Safe Ride. It starts every night at 8 and runs through 2 in the morning. A lot of students we talk to, though, say they don't know much about the program. They don't use it. In fact, they say they don't even know the number to call if they need one of those rides. In Bloomington, Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Emily. And that number she just mentioned for IU Safe Ride here, we're going to put for you at the bottom of our screen. It is 812-856-RIDE. And also we have this number posted online at WTHR.com.